How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, recipes, crafts, DIYs, mixed media, happy melon hauls, uh, fountain pens, a fountain pen ink, and sometimes a real fair one a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And without further ado, <clears throat> this is going to be a no fuss, no muss video. And as you can see from here, minus my Ipu, which is for my hair. See the little Ipu? I used to have two of these, but Rose has the other one. <laughs> she borrowed it. Anyway, that was a long time ago. Um, but in any event, no fuss, no muss. These are the inks that I'm going to do in this video. Well, I'm going to attempt to do it because there are 20 bottles. Um, and that takes quite a long time, so that's what I want to do. So I have them already shaken, the initial shake, and I will shake each one up again after I get going and before I do the actual swatch. This is my setup, water, water, soapy water, Enigma. 60 GSM Tomoe River Paper, Automatic Writing Pen in 3A, Pipette, Glass Dip Pen, and 20 paint brushes. <laughs> because if you don't, from me doing this several times now, I find that if I don't do this method of dip twice in the, these two, um, milk containers of water and then soap it stains it it's gonna mix the colors and i don't want to do that so this is just easier i've I have all of these on hand for many many years they're just junky little paint brushes so some of them actually are brand new i have the nouveau ones which are pretty cool i have a whole set of these so i just picked these three flat ones i try to get all flat brushes a couple of them are semi-flat but not really but it'll work. I'm going to make it work. So, whoa. That is what I have. And that is what I'm going to do. Now, I've already made my lines. So I have enough space to do all 20 swatches. So we'll see. Because usually this takes an hour to do five on video just takes time but I'm not going to talk I'm just going to do it and then I'll come back at the end and we'll look at them I just have this paper trying to protect my page because things drip and whatnot so let me know if you like the style of video okay and I will catch you guys on the flip side enjoy
just five ink swatches at a time was spot on. So, and also I actually have, I had 25 bottles to do left in this, um, the Diamond Shimmer collection, and now I'll have 20 left. So, there's, there are quite a few colors. So let's just go over one, each one, individually. So, as I said, they're all the Diamond Shimmer line, and the first one that I did was Magenta Flash. So pretty. This is it right here. It's like a pinky purple. It's very beautiful. I love it. And it has some depth to it. Um, definitely sheen. It has some brownish elements, as you saw. I'll hold this one up once again. Look how pretty that is. This is the most pinky purpley color in the entire collection. If you are more inclined to pink, the Magenta Flash is it. And they all shimmer and sheen and shine beautifully. Gorgeous. They're really pretty. There you go. You can see it beautifully. Such a nice color. So that's Magenta Flash. And next I did Lilac Satin. This time I'll put the swatch card above. So there's the color right there. As you can see, very close up. Okay. Undertones. This is a nice purple with undertones of black brown even. And a little bit of silver. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. There you go. Here is the pipette swatch. Yeah. Look at that silver in the background of the purple. It's beautiful. Yay! I'm glad I got those. Next, we have Frosted Orchid. So here is the sample down below on the Tomoe River. In comparison to the swatch card, there's a good shot. So, this is very much deeper. It definitely has the silver undertone, like the lilac one does. It has um, brown, black elements in it as well. And here is the pipette side. I like doing the different ones because they do show up differently. Very beautiful. Okay. And then next on this page, over here, we have the purple pizzazz. I'll just show it to you upside down so you can really see close side by side. That's it, obviously. And it has a bronze undertone. It's a purple with a bronze undertone. It's a very deep, dark purple. And you can really see that bronze there. Gorgeous. And then last but not least, we'll do this one upside down too. I have the Mystique. So that's also a purple color. There is the comparison. I'm moving it around, at, uh, trying to get a better angle, but I'm also blinded by all the lights, so look at that. Wow. Again, bronze undertone. Very similar with the bronze undertone, but this is a more blue-purple than its predecessor, as it were, as you can see. You can really see that here. That distinction. This one is definitely, the Mystique is definitely more blue purple than the purple pizzazz. The way the light hits it and I see it from my angle is different, so that's why I'm trying to turn it. 
so you can see what I'm talking about. So definitely a more bluey purple. Let's see. All of them at once. Oops. Magenta Flash. So I'll pick my favorite one out of these. Three. Careful if it says. Okay. All right. Well, this is a no-brainer for me. My favorite is this one. Hands down, Magenta Flash. Um, but that is kind of like a pinky purple. So if you want a true purple, this one, which is the lilac satin. It's lavendery purple. And these are definitely, this one is definitely purple. The um, Mystique purple, deep, dark purple. Like a black purplish even. So, but my favorite pick is this one and then that would be that one. The lilac satin. All pretty though. Okay guys, um, that is going to be it for this video. And I have all my other bottles still set up. So it'll be much quicker. Um, just, you know, you have to get your groove and as to how you do your swatches. So I'm just getting my feet wet doing them. Um, so... And I really like seeing all the different colors on the Tomoe River paper as well as these swatch cards. Um, I think it's worth doing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And I would love to know which of these five colors is your favorite out of all of them. Thank you. Peace out.